Hey Kathy, it's Rob from Joe Workman Tech Support. I'm um, just going to try to show you what I mean by using the plus kit and other page st styles. Um, so this is just a basic page I started. This is the home page. It's got basic text. Let's say you wanted to add a contact form and you're using the basic contact form from Rapid Reverse. You put that into your page. Okay. Um, call it contact. I'll call this one home. And again, this can be any way you have your page set up. It doesn't have to be this way spe specifically. Um, let's see, one more that we could add. Let's say you have a date, a calendar page, okay, and you want that on there. So if you have date loom, you can put that on there. Put calendar here. Okay, so now you're wondering how do you get like it on all of these pages? Well, it's easy on the stacks page. You can go to the stacks, find Joe's like it stack drag it on, put in the ones you want, and so on. There you go. It works great. But on these other pages, it's kind of difficult. So what you have to do is, first thing is you have to find your plugin called PlusKit. And that's the at loghound.com. Um, that's where you'll find that. So you add that to your page. Okay? And I usually put that at the end of all my pages. I entitle it PlusKit because it's not going to be shown in your menu. And it's also... So you take that off, you go to the page inspector and turn off show and menu. And you can also, I believe when you preview a plus kit page, it disables it. See I've got gray over here? And it says please don't enable this page, it doesn't need to be enabled. So if you do that, if it's enabled when you preview, it'll be okay. It'll disable it for you. So named it plus kit. There are lots of different things plus kits can plus kit can do. You can add automatic light boxes, fancy zooms, fancy boxes, but the best thing about plus kit. Um, is when you want to make another page, and let's make the stacks page for like. And we're just going to call this page like it. That's all that's going to be on it. So it's called like it. You put your like it stack on there. You adjust it the way you want to adjust it. I'm just going to leave it this way, but you would adjust the way you want. Okay. Then you go up to the page inspector and you unclick show and menu. You want to keep it enabled though means it's just to stay enabled, but you don't want to keep it in your menu. So if you preview it, you'll only see your three, home, calendar, and contact. If you kept that on and then previewed, you'd have a little window called like it, and you don't want that. So we're going to disable or enable it, but check off show and menu. Okay? So then what we want to do is add it to these other pages. So you go into the calendar, and the calendar's got a head and foot area. Okay, and it also has, oh, well, that's an event thing. It also, so it's got a header and a footer. The header is above the thing, so I, I'll just type in some basic text. This is the header of the date loom page. Okay, and I'm going to type in some basic ty type text down here. This is the footer of the date loom page. Okay, and when you preview that, you'll see the text above and below. Okay, I kind of have a bad theme. I'm going to actually change my theme real quick because I like using Elixir's Slate theme better when I'm doing demos and I should have changed that first. But let's look at it now. Okay, so there's your header. This is the header. Here's your dates. Let's make it a month calendar. Here's the footer. Okay, now if I wanted to move this down and move this one up, I can just add returns and you'll see when I preview, see there's some space now, okay? So if I wanted to like it, the like stack, like it stack in my footer, I would use this little code. It's the at symbol, the word import, two parentheses facing that way, and then you just need the exact name of your page. And the page is called like it, and it's gotta be typed in exactly the way it looks. And then two closed parentheses, okay? You might want to put a return. Now I know previewing like it's not going to look the best, but let's see what it looks like when I preview it here. It, whoop, it should then pop in. Yep, there it goes. It starts to do it. Again, in preview like it doesn't look the greatest, but if I would publish this page, you would see the like it stack here, and then you would see whatever the parts, if you have anything underneath the footer. So if I wanted to add it to the contact page, contact page... Page info, page, I thought they had a customizable text. Here we go. 
header, footer, email sent back. So again, go in the footer, hit return a couple times, at symbol, import, parentheses, like it, close parentheses, preview the cell, we'll close the page inspector. There you go. Shows up right underneath there. So that's the way I would do it. Um, I would make a, a like it stack. I would use plus kit and incorporate that into your whatever page you want. Um, as long as the page has a header and footer, which most pages do, you should be able to access that, or actually any any extra text area. Um, you know, it should work. You should be able to get in there. Um, you could even put, if you had a rapid cart or a payloom stack, you could put it in the description at import. It should work there too. So that's what I would do, Kathy. I hope this helps you out. I hope you understand um, how to get it on different pages. So that the stacks that Joe make are just for stack pages, like, like this one here and this one here. Okay? You can move them to other pages with plus kit. Um, so it should work most of the time. So like I said, I hope that helps you out. I hope you understand.